In this video, we will learn how to draw a line graph or a scatter graph in Adobe Illustrator. Now, I recommend actually drawing a line graph or scatter graph in uh, another program like Excel or Sigma Stat and actually importing that in to Adobe Illustrator. But if you really want to draw the line graph in Adobe Illustrator, then um, I'm going to show you how to do that and how to add error bars and all that sort of thing. So if you go over here, you will probably see actually a column graph tool. Uh, it looks like a column graph in or bar graph over on the left. You don't see it there, go up to Window, go down to Toolbars, and click uh, Advanced, and it should show up. So we're going to click and hold and go down to uh, Scatter Graph. We're going to draw all our graphs as scatter graphs rather than line graphs. Okay. So we, it'll connect the dots, so it'll look like a line graph. But I prefer to have the X and Ys. So you're going to click and hold your left mouse button and release. You're going to draw it basically just like a rectangle. OK, so uh, what we have here is a kind of a spreadsheet that shows up. And this is going to be your data that you're going to insert into the graph. Now, it's counterintuitive in that the, the y values are on the left and that x values are on the right. And it's stored as. Um, as along the column. So, so the one will be the Y value of the first data point. You're going to click the down arrow. Then let's do three for the second Y value. Um, let's go ahead and add the X in. So we're going to type in, uh, let's do add a zero, one, two, three, four. That's the X values. Now, if you press enter, it's going to update the graph. Now, I don't have any Y values here, so it hasn't added those values in. So see how it ends at 3 uh, with an X value of 1. That's this data. That's this data value right here. So let's keep on adding some data. Let's 5. Now, as I'm adding this data, if I press Enter, notice how it's updating the graph. But you have to click the down arrow to go to the next cell. So it's not like Excel, where if you press uh, enter, it'll return to the next uh, row of the data set. It'll, it doesn't it doesn't do a carriage return for you. Okay, so we'll type in seven. Okay, so that's the what we'd call the mean values of the data. The next thing we want to do is we want to add the error bars. Now the error bar is going to be a little tricky. <clears throat> what you have to do is add a gap between the last data set and your next data set. And you're going to add it along the same column. So first, we're going to do the bottom y value, because what we're doing is we're drawing a line. We're drawing a series of lines uh, across each data point. So we're going to start with the low value of 0 0.75. Of course, you're going to have actual data. So I just did a tab key to move over to the next column, kind of standard. Type in 1.25. Now if I press Enter, it just updates the graph. Um, oh, I apologize. That should be 0. This is going to be 1.25. This is going to be 0. So you see this structure here. This is the first y value, and this is that first x value, the, first, the second y value, and the second x value. And that's for, this is all for, this first data point here. So this data point at time zero has the error bar indicated in here. So this is a single line. Now you add the space to add the gap. OK, so there's our error bars added in. We're going to cancel out of that. The data is still there. It's still stored. We're just closing up that window. OK, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of these markers. So I'm going to right click, go to Type, and then we're going to uncheck the Mark Data Points. Click OK. 
And there you go, that's how you draw error bars along the lines. Now you can add, so if you wanna add markers along the, the line with the, the, um, the error bars, let's copy this. So I'm holding Alt, clicking left mouse button, and dragging away, just so I can have a backup. So I'm gonna click on this, I'm gonna to go to Object, Ungroup. Now it's gonna say, do you wanna do this? It's gonna unlink the data. In other words, I won't be able to modify the data after this, which is why I kind of recommend working in Excel and making the graph the way you want and just copying it in. Um, just because maybe your data changes in the, in, in the meantime. So, uh, because you collect more data points. So we're gonna click yes, we're gonna unlink the data. What you would do is, uh, let's just draw a, let's say an ellipse tool, click and hold. Draw the circle. Let's put a fill on it. Then you can just put the, it'll actually snap to that point. Okay. Until you see the intersection. This one actually snapped to another point. So it's not ideal. Um, but it gets the job done. Another way of doing it is to, uh, so let's take the same data set. A lot of times instead of the line, we want a, a fill for the graphs. So we're going to right click, go back to the data. And rather than breaking up like this, we're gonna type it along here. We're gonna have the Y values, then the X, and then Y, and then X. So. Okay, so now you see the upper line and the lower line. And, uh, and it's gonna be quite simple. You're gonna click on, you're gonna, First, you're going to go object. Let's copy it just so we have the data as a backup. So again, I'll hold Alt, click with my left mouse, relief, release with my left mouse, and then release the Alt button. So I'm gonna click on this object, go up to object, ungroup. Yes, we wanna unlink the data. Now we're going to just keep double clicking until we can select these individual lines. I'm gonna select the upper line, then hold shift, select the lower line. Then I'm gonna hold control and press J. What that's gonna do is it's gonna connect that line at the base. And then we're gonna remove the, the outline and change, or the stroke, and then we're gonna change the fill to maybe to a light gray, or you can do, you know, whatever color that you like. You can actually, you can also, let's say make it dark green but uh, go over here to appearance. And if you don't have appearance there, go up to window and then uh, click on appearance. You can go to appearance and just double click on this one object. Go to opacity, make it 50, click away. Then you can modify this one object here and maybe make it green. or whatever color you like. So anyways, that's that's how you make a graph in Adobe Illustrator. There's a lot of things that you can do, some stylistic adjustments, like for instance, um, I don't know anyone who really likes to have the tick marks on the inside, uh, so let's ungroup. So you can highlight these, hold shift, click that. Now you have the, the tick marks. I also recommend highlighting the numbers down, you can highlight these, and hold shift and highlight these, unclick that line, unclick that line, move it over. You can also maybe make a space between the Y and X axis. Actually, you want to hold, let's highlight all of these, hold shift and highlight. Then select these, and then select this. That unselects that y-axis, and kind of move it over a little bit. 
And we missed a data point here. Let's hold Alt. Okay, and you can make those same changes to the bottom graph below. Um, but there's there's a lot of changes that you can make, more stylistic changes. You can add a uh, y-axis label or, or an x-axis label and all that sort of thing. But I just mainly wanted to get give you I get show you kind of the basics of how to create a graph, a line graph in Adobe Illustrator, you know, just using the Adobe Illustrator application. Now again, I recommend actually creating your line graph in Excel and then importing it in.